Hello and welcome to part 3 of Jimster 586's camera shop. Let's get into movie cameras here for a moment. We have an old Kodak movie camera. So I have a book for this one. I have a lot to show you with the camera itself. It's not the greatest of shape here. It's kind of eroded over the years. Open it up. This is a small, portable little unit. Film, of course. Camcorders and that hadn't even been thought of yet. So date back to the 70s. That's where your film goes. There's the front lens. And as I say, I have actually have a book for this. Kodak Instamatic. There's your trigger there to film. And the handle just folds up. So, oh, there's some information there too. Tell you what settings to use. So we have this camera. And what would be complete without a look at the book? If I can find it quickly here. It's Kodak M22. I'm not gonna, you know, sit here and go through the book. But nonetheless, there's the book. Eastman Kodak Company, Rochester, New York, how appropriate. So I have that one for you. We also have my mom's first camera. This tote full of cameras came from my parents' house. They're cleaning out. So I opted to take the, these. It's a holiday camera. It's a Kodak, of course. It's a cute little thing. It's a brownie. Just push the button here to take a picture. I'm not going to try opening this up. See inside of it. Nonetheless, as I say, this was my mom's first camera. It's vintage Kodak Brownie. Not sure when this was made. I'm assuming in the 50s. Oops, that wasn't good. And let's see what else we have here. We have another Kodak Brownie movie camera. It's original box. Kodak, of course. What wasn't Kodak in those days? So let's open up the box for you. We have this handy camera. A bit chunkier. Again, film camera. You can see that's where you wind your film on. Put the cover back on. Close that up. There's the front for you. Oh, this is actually working. No film, of course, but anyway. Flash, I would assume. This one's kind of neat in that it has a targeting system Oops. so that you can see what you're supposed to be taking an image of. I'm trying to get that lined up on a window across the way there. That's not working real well. Again, it's having an issue with that too. So there you have it. Kodak Brownie. Now this one, I know exactly when this one was purchased. I don't know by whom. I've never seen this one before. But I can tell you, there's your guarantee card, Eastman Kodak. But get a load of the date. This was a Christmas present for somebody. December 22nd, 1961. That's when the warranty was filled out. Or the warranty card was filled out uh, for this camera. I have the book, of course, that goes with it. I'm not going to take the time to go through the book, but there's the book nonetheless. But you don't enjoy that. A little trip down some photography memory lane here, or videography, or, well, it wasn't video in those days. Cinematography, there we go. So there's another camera for you. And let's see if we can get one more camera done here. This one. 
is an old Kodak, of course. Like I said, what wasn't Kodak in those days. 50s and 60s and so on. Let's see what we can do here. Have to take the base off. Sorry about the camera movements. I'm trying to work one-handed. It's not exactly working. I do have pictures that are going to be on Flickr also. This one is a stereo camera. Note that it has two lenses. I don't quite know why that is, but this is a Kodak stereo camera. Another antique. You can tell by just by the Kodak logo. There's your film winder there. This one actually, as I discovered earlier, still has film in it. Be interesting to know what's on the film. Film probably isn't any good anymore. It's been in, I would assume it's been in here for a few, couple of decades at least. Probably more than that. So we have a Kodak stereo camera. Now I do have a book for that one as well. If I can quickly find it. Bombs. Here we go. Get a load of that color scheme. Is that scream antique or what? <laughs> Gotta love that. Oh yeah. Vintage. Wow. <laughs> Don't know the exact date on this one, but there you have it. Red and yellow. That screams 1960s at the latest. So that's what we've got for you. And I do have a couple more that I will do in part four. I'll pull up my mom's Polaroid from around 1990. Uh, an ancient Polaroid camera. And, oops, there it is, a movie camera. Now let's see what we've got here. It's taking a minute to put that one away. Let's do the Polaroid while we're at it. I'm not on a major time crunch here, so let's just get some, some more done. We'll do the, the other two cameras in part four. Here we have Mom's Vintage uh, in, in excellent working order. The Polaroid Spectra instant camera. Polaroid, of course. Spectra system. So let's open it up. Pull the latch there. There's the front. Here's the back. Now the interesting thing about this one is that it still works. It's powered and the camera thinks that, if I can get in there close enough so you can see it, almost looks like it thinks there's film in there, which there isn't. Let's pop that open. one-handed. Still has a film cartridge in it, right there. This is hard to do. <laughs> I'm out of hands. <laughs> There's an old Polaroid Spectra film cassette. This is one of those old instant cameras, of course, which I don't think anybody uses anymore. Load that back in there. Load that. And the camera thinks that there is, I don't know if you can see that 10 there, the camera thinks that there's fresh film in here. So let's push it. So this camera works perfectly. Assuming you had the film to put in it. That's the only thing it doesn't have. So with that in mind, we're going to fold that one up. I will put it away. And then we'll come back for part four. And we'll handle these two last cameras. So that's what I've got for you. Thanks for watching part three. And we'll catch you in part four.